Hello everybody, I'm here with another piece of mine to discuss. The title of this painting is Dusk on the Missouri, and it's an oil on canvas. So, uh, the inspiration for this piece was when I went to South Dakota. The uh, Missouri River flows through South Dakota, that's where I'm originally from. It divides the eastern half um, from the western half, so the locals in South Dakota refer to the eastern side as East River and the western side as West River. West River is less, uh, has less precipitation and is more ranching land, whereas East River has more precipitation and grows more crops. Uh, so anyway, this, the Missouri River is, would be what Lewis and Clark traveled through to get to the, uh, Pacific. And there are many places in South Dakota where those two explorers traveled to, including the Missouri around, uh, the, uh, South Dakota-Nebraska border, which is where this is. So what I did was I just combined, I used two major colors, blue and yellow, which I think complement each other very well. I th The original photo from which I took this, I took a photo and then painted it later as I did not have my oils with me, but the original photo just featured broad daylight with a river scene, and there were no boats on the river. I just thought it would make it more interesting with a yellow sky at indicating dusk. Gives more emotion that way. Um, and the blue water, I think, make, gives it just a, a more appeal, appealing feeling than kind of that grayish color water that I saw. But right here, the uh, viewer can get a sense of a summer, an environment in the summertime, viewing people having fun, recreational stuff, boating, or fishing. Um, it's after, we could assume it's after a long hot day and it's cooling down. So the people are out and about relaxing on the lake or river. Like this man, or it could be a woman, I suppose, is fishing, and then the figures in this boat, the impressionistic figures in this boat, are just having fun boating on the river, as are whoever's in this boat. This uh, kind of reminds me a bit of Claude Monet's painting, Impression Sunrise, which actually sparked the name of the Impressionist movement. That painting dates back to 1873, and Monet did a uh, quick painting of people on a river in the uh, early morning, and he didn't know what to call it, so he labeled it Impression Sunrise, and so the name Impressionists stuck with them. That's where a lot of my influence comes from. I'm also, I also take some influence from American painter Edward Hopper. I like his usage of lights and shadows. Just taking ordinary, everyday objects that would be mundane in real life and making them more interesting. But anyway, back to this painting, I'm sure a lot of you people, given that it's a a hot July day, and yes, as you can tell down here, it's July 4th. Of course, some of you will probably view this in the winter time and just wish it were warmer weather like this. So, you probably get a, a desire to go jump in the river and swim. I know I do. Well, anyway... Um, that's about all I have to say right now. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.